Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. Libra. Yeah. I'm in your energy. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that you are feeling lovely. Yes. You know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Libra, welcome to another edition of Tea Talk and Tarot with Empress 444. Let's get into this energy. Let's just see what is happening. Get your tea, your coffee, your water. Uh-huh. Something that is going to be good for the body. Uh-huh. Go ahead, grab that. Not necessarily coffee, but I'm a tea gal. Y'all know that. And from time to time, I have coffee. Mm-hmm. Very particular about my brand, my bean, okay? Um, I'm sipping on some ginger lemon tea this morning. And that's my choice of sips. So... I hope you have something at hand. If not, go ahead and grab something. And let's take a ride through this energy. See what's going on. I stayed out of the energy, at least our energy yesterday, okay? Um, for a day, just to kind of let it simmer down. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, yeah, uh-huh. It's like your energies were waiting on me to come for them. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have our tea talk in Tarot. And later on the day, you know that I'll be putting out your weekly forecast. So, anticipate your forecast being posted today as well. I also will dip off into the energy of Virgo. So if you have any Virgo placements, check your chart. Remember, anything that you need from me is listed below in the direction or description box. All links are included, including the link to your free natal chart so that you may see where these different zodiac energies lie and how they play a role in your life just to see exactly what resonates with you. Me personally, I watch my moon signs, my rising signs, okay? More so the rising, but my midhaven, okay? My midhaven, I watch that sign as well because it resonates even more so. I find it sometimes to be even more accurate in the different places of which my moon sign or my rising sign would not be. Versus, of course, your overall sun sign, which is your zodiac sign that you were born under, headlined first is how everyone sees you your sun sign, okay? But that moon sign, those signs for you all are really how you internalize your emotions and, you know, how it is that you filter things in your body, mm -hmm, energetically. And your rising is really you rising to the occasion. What it is in you, that power that sometimes may lie dormant, okay? Unless you put that fire behind it. So that's just a little brief rundown. And I'll give more information on that. But that was just off the dome, off the top, off the rip. Me giving you what I got spiritually speaking to your soul, all right? So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on in the energy. I'm going to take a sip. All right. Y'all take a sip of whatever y'all have. And remember that this is a general reading. Take what is yours and simply leave what is not. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. 
as I channel these messages, I ask that my collaborative is protected as well. We're starting off today with the Pope Tarot. I don't know. I wanted to, you know, add a little spice in the life. Mm -hmm. I like this animation. You know, I'll tell you all what type of cards I like. And if you're interested in donating to the channel, I love um, classic looks uh -huh. and also classic comics. So just that nostalgic feeling of a car is always like my fave. And then I love art, period. So anything that looks like it's, you know, painted, water painted, things of that nature, that is like very, um, as a reader, intuitively, it hits me different. Uh-huh, yeah. So let's get into this energy, beautiful ones. Let's see what's going on. In your energy, beautiful Libras. This is T talking to roll with Libra, uh huh. And cross watchers, I will get back to doing T talking to roll with the other zodiac signs, uh huh. I just do not like to do general messages, I don't. That's my thing. <laughs> I'm very personal in that way, yeah. I like to give everybody their own energy, no matter how often I do it or how, you know, uh, less I do it than the others, okay? I still feel like your energy is something special for me to tap into. Although you can gravitate towards the general ones as well. That's not my preference over here. So if you have any requests on Zodiac signs, we're still a baby channel and growing. And I want to say Mwah! love and kisses and hugs to all the misters and the misses. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful ones. Sweet dreams and caviar things. Uh-huh. Yeah. I love you all. Be sure to hit the like button, help the channel to grow, subscribe and share. And I appreciate everyone that's commenting, commenting and liking and sharing. Yes, uh, let's help this dynasty grow because it's different over here. It's different over here and you're going to love it here. So let's get into it, beautiful ones. Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Yes, please. tell the story. Okay, beautiful ones. Let's get some more cards out of here. More cards, spirit. Libra. <laughs> mm -hmm. I say Libra and the Queen of Swords. Said, get it, girl. Uh -huh. More cards. Energy is hmm. It's a little something, something this morning. No. Thank you. All right. I can't take both of them. So I'm put this one back around. All right. Beautiful ones. Your overall energy is the sun. Uh-huh. Happy days. Spirit is telling me to tell you to look forward to the summer. Uh-huh. Look forward to the summer, Libra. This is going to be that summer. Uh-huh. 
And as soon as I looked at this card, I heard summer, summer, summertime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about it. We have the nine of cups in the reverse. And <laughs> it came out in the reverse one of your other reads too, so I'm not surprised. Totally different deck. So it's emphasis on a nine of cups energy that is in reverse. All right. And the nine of cups is all about, let me show you this card. Because like I say, I don't know, some of you may in, be into, you know, the era from the 50s to the 60s and 70s. Uh-huh. Nine of Cups is here. And this is your wishes. Overall wishes that come true. When you get into this Nine of Cups energy, you see she has, she's very comfortable. She's very comfortable. She's single. She's so single. She has a man's necktie in her hand. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. She got things tied up. Mm-hmm. So when you see this Nine of Cups energy, this is a feeling of knowing that you're sitting in a place of abundance, some good health, some satisfaction, mm -hmm. and your overall happiness. That's that energy. So to be in reverse, someone is not happy. Someone is single, okay? So your person, if they were in a relationship, they are single in the physical or energetic sense from that person that they were dealing with, okay? And this is only for those of you that, you know, your person had somebody on the side or, you know, was dealing with some baby mama drama, whatever it is, okay? A wife, whatever, okay, your situation is. But <laughs> that's what's the deal. The Nine of Cups is in reverse. A Queen of Wands is in reverse. Yeah, and she's nasty looking too. Uh -huh. Look at her. Yeah, she's in reverse. Mm-hmm. And in reverse, a Queen of Wands is considered a prostitute, okay? Hmm, I'm going to sip my tea on that one. Hmm, yeah. She is promiscuous, okay? This is a Queen of Wands in reverse, a promiscuous energy. The chariot is here. I love this because I'm a car girl. Mm -hmm. Love cars. The chariot is here. And this energy is moving forward. This is about, you know, actually wanting to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. Next to the star energy. So... Someone may want to move towards a star who is now single, all right? Um, and we're going to clarify all of these, but we definitely have a witch uh -huh, here, a promiscuous one at that. I mean, come on now, you know, those who are intuitive, what do you see when you get this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of dangerous. Ah, <laughs> uh, and the chariot is here next to the star. Mm hmm. Hmm. You know, the chariot is about a journey, and actually, the chariot represents victory. Beautiful ones. Uh huh. The chariot does represent a victory. It also represents 
perseverance and momentum. So gaining victory after, you know, exercising that perseverance uh huh. While making momentum, mm -hmm. keeping in stride, you got to clean the swords. And here you are. <laughs> you're here, and you're here. Okay. Yeah, you're here with the truth, with the justice, serving it up as you do. We got this page of Pentacles here. This is a fresh offer from. Someone young in the game, either energetically or physically. It's a new feeling that comes across when you think about ideas that are attached to building a legacy, a corporation, a dynasty, something that is handed down in the family. Mm hmm this is an idea that approaches you. And in this idea, you're thinking of, this is when you start to begin of solid beginnings. You know, you start to begin to think of the solid beginnings that exist. You become more goal oriented. You also start to develop a desire about something that you know you're gonna to have to tap into in order to create these different pinnacles. So she's looking at this pinnacle like, yeah, yeah, this is it. So this means, this is how you get to a king and a queen of pentacles energy. You look at something which is earth energy. Uh-huh. So you're actually tapped into earth. You're tapped into being more grounded. And when you become more grounded, you become more aware of the things that you desire and you actually put the energy into accumulating. It takes action to build up the Page of Pentacles, right? Mm-hmm. The Fool is here, and the Fool is about being free. Uh-huh. Look at her, I love this picture of what freedom looks like, because she's willy-nilly with it. Mm-hmm, she's free. Taking chances. Mm -hmm. She said, look, I'm running off the cliff and I'm going to see how I land. The dog said, I'm with it. Let's go. Uh-huh. The dog didn't hesitate. He's looking at her. He's looking at her like I'm following you. This is your lead. Page of Cups is here. Mm-hmm. And she just walking around the beach in her little one piece with her cup of fish. Yeah, this is a fresh love. This is a new love. Uh-huh. Fresh and new. Let's talk about it. Spirit, give us the nine of cups in reverse for Libra. Thank you. Oh, did you really have to go in reverse too? Yeah. So... Remember, we flip and switch these energies, all right? Tarot is energy reading. We're not reading sex. Although, if a masculine, a masculine energy comes through powerful, that's what it is. Be a woman or man, right? We got to pay. We got the knight. The knight, okay, of pentacles. Let me show you him in the upright. We got him in the reverse. So this nine of cups energy that's in the reverse, this is the energy of a knight of pentacles that's in the reverse. Knight of pentacles in reverse is somebody who has, they, 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 have, they sit from a place of complacency. Uh-huh. This is someone that is scared to move, scared to be in this energy of a chariot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They skirt. They're full of hesitation. And they lack confidence and they don't take initiative. We call them punks, right? In other words. So that's really a 
Nine of Pentacles, it's a pump whose money and overall wishes are not looking nice, okay? Yeah, he or she flipping switch these energies, okay? So they didn't get their wish fulfillment and a Knight of Pentacles in the upright energy is someone who is, they're coming towards you because they work hard. And they're somewhat conservative, but they're responsible. They're very responsible. But this is an irresponsible energy who is not a hard worker uh -huh, because they're complacent. Okay, they're in the reverse. And this energy of Nine of Cups, they may also be overindulging and have be dealing, might be dealing with some alcoholism. Okay, mm -hmm. someone is over drinking as well. Not everyone, but in many cases, yeah. That nine of cups in reverse. I split the deck. <laughs> Look, I split the deck. High priestess, okay? So, somebody is over drinking. Nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles, spirit. Leave Mm. Wow. More information about the Nine of Pentacles, this energy. The Knight of Pentacles, who's in a reverse. This is, they're stressed out. <sighs> yeah. If dealing with a lot of anxiety. And they're hurt behind a missed opportunity. And they're trying to find their balance. This energy could have a Libra placement. This is, we got air, earth, and fire out here. We got the temperance angel here, who is fire, Sagittarius, okay? Four of cups, missed opportunity. This person is trying to find balance while being in this energy of stress, out, just stressed out and upset about an offer that wasn't received. Mm hmm. Yeah. Beautiful Libras. You may feel this energy coming in or wanting to be given to you, but here you are. You lie wide awake. Not even wanting to turn around and look whose hand is coming through your window. Yeah. And this is the temperance card. Part man, part woman, all angel. And then the other side of them is one foot in the water and one foot on land. This is finding your balance. You can't have two feet on the land and two feet on the water. Mm. Hmm. Overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles. This energy is also working hard, okay? And working hard in the sense of trying to find work is what I'm getting. You know, ways to get money. Because we got a Knight of Pentacles in the reverse now. Uh-huh. So it's kind of like, you know, finding my balance means I have to bust a move. And I have to be not so complacent. Mm-hmm. Spirit, Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands. Thank you. And that one. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. So let's talk about Little Miss Promiscuous, okay? Um, Ace of Wands, this is about, you know, <laughs> this is someone who is creates creative or they were in a creative state they had new creative ideas or they had new creative ideas that were strong strong creative ideas see look at the wine that ought to tell you something right and they were so creative that it created a eight of swords energy uh-huh this is the eight of swords i'll turn them all around for you 
to see them. But this eight of swords is someone in the energy of facing their fears, releasing, and also freedom. Mm -hmm. this, this energy is freedom. Huh. So we have Lomas Promiscuous, who is free now. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Because of what she created. The strength that they put behind it. She put behind it. Now here we are with a Knight of Pentacles that is free. And a Queen of Wands that is free. The two in reverse. This is telling me that there's been a separation between the two. Okay? We got two single energies that are free. Uh-huh. And they both in reverse. So this wasn't a happy end is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Overall energy is the two of cups. Somebody is free to be with who it is they want to be with or who it is they would like to be with. Yeah. Because the two of cups, uh, this ain't the two right here. Mm. Judgment in reverse. Hmm. Let's talk about it. Spirit, give me the chariot for Libra. Chariot. Yes, please. Six of Swords. Somebody's moving forward. This is moving forward, moving forward, moving forward, okay? Six of Swords is moving forward. And the chariot is moving forward. This is heavy on the forward motion, okay, beautiful ones? Six of Swords on top of the chariot. Six of Swords is moving forward, possibly relocating, some departure, and also learning some lessons, accepting the lesson, getting in your boat and moseying on down the lake. Uh-huh. Yeah. Moving on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow me. The star spirit. Thank you. Now, the star is a healing energy, Aquarius energy. Uh-huh. It's a healing energy, air. Hmm. Hope, faith. Show it to you again. And the moon comes out with the two of swords. Somebody is really, really stuck in their head about all the secrets that are being exposed and coming out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone needs to make decisions about, you know, what it is I need to talk to somebody about, what needs to be said, what needs to be spoken, because they're holding a lot in. Mm-hmm. They're holding a whole lot in. This is also mysteries, delusions, and seeing your shadow side. Someone is seeing who they are. Possibly for the first time in their life. Because they've been blinded to it with the two of swords here. They've been blinded to the truth of who they are. This two of swords is about making a decision and also protecting yourself. All right, And changing your mindset along with making some compromising compromises okay so someone is compromising with themselves this is somebody really in their head about who they are and how to come to men's with who they are the moon and the two of swords on the star we got the moon and the star together this is this person has become illuminated about who they are how they have 
you know, actually molded themselves to be versus who they have told themselves they are. Spirit, they want a new beginning when it's all done. Overall energy, the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords for Libra. Queen of Swords. It's three. Mm, yeah, three of swords is here. This is definitely about heartbreak, Libra. You got the three of swords, okay? This is the boundaries that you set over that heartbreak. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you something that people don't know or they get twisted about Libras. And then they say, oh, yeah, they can hold a grudge. No, we can let go. And unfortunately, for many, it's forever. Like Cardi B said, huh, it's forever. All right? Mm-hmm. And that's if you won't beef with me. <laughs> it's forever. So, you know, this is that energy. You... It's, I don't see you as holding on to a broken heart. But I see it as an energy of you not forgetting. You're not supposed to forget. You're just supposed to heal, right? It doesn't wipe your memory out. Some, some things, some people, some places, yeah, because they didn't really stick that harp in the gate. But when you are dealing with a three of swords energy, this is pain, all right? So therefore, those boundaries are up, and that's why the queen of swords is here. Okay, overall energy is the two of pinnacles. Balance. You had to find some balance. And it was balance brought to this energy. Let's tap into it. Three of swords, queen of swords. Thank you, spirit. It's three. Mm. Three of cups. Mm-hmm. This is the Three of Cups energy that's here. And this Three of Cups energy, these are three individuals that were in your energy. Uh huh. And they are associated to you possibly feeling this pain. Mm hmm. Yeah. These energies, look at it. Look at these cards. Is playing out. This is the judgment. And the judgment is in reverse when it comes to this three of cups. So this is how I know it ain't no party time. Uh-huh. Three of cups is celebrations with friends, family, this down another, but it's coming behind a heartbreak. So make it make sense is what I'm gonna do. This judgment is in reverse when it comes to a three of cups. This is unfair. Uh-huh. Yeah. Judgment in reverse is about being disappointed and also resentment, self-doubt, and worry. So these energies that have something to do with a heartbreak when it comes to you, they worry because they have a lot of self-doubt. And that's why they're in your energy trying to control what happens to the heart. Now, they're sitting in heartbreak with judgment in reverse. Very disappointed. Why are they disappointed? <laughs> they're disappointed because of the impressive. Yeah, what you thought? What you thought? What did they think, Libra? Yeah, you know, the, the Empress had to show her face. Yeah, she did. I saw her poking out, poking it out. So, yeah, you got three individuals in their feelings now because of what it is they tried to make you feel. And they didn't understand that you was the queen of swords out here. And you know how to use your sword. Bam, I split the deck on the king of swords. They didn't know how gritty and giddy it could get for you. Uh-huh, yeah. You could step into your balance. You're the scale. 
you're the proper balance of masculine and feminine energy together. So they, they didn't know the queen of swords was also the king of swords and how you could flip the script on them. Mmm. Whoa. Hmm. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. The Page of Pentacles for Libra. Page of Pentacles. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, you hard at work. You hard at work. You're doing your thing. This is the Eight of Pentacles. This is you and your skill set and what it is that you're very good at doing, what it is that you're finding purpose in. And you're building from that. This is why this page of Pentacles is here. You see how she looks at this coin in admiration like, I got an idea. And this idea is going to get me paid. Uh-huh. This idea is going to have me lovely. Yeah. You know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. My beautiful ones. Yeah, let's get into this energy. Eight of Pentacles on them, all right? Now, you have a Queen of Wands as your overall energy. You're not stepping away from the energy of being the empath that you are, the compassionate energy that you are, because you love wholeheartedly that and you being about your Pentacles. That's the balance. I split the deck drama came from you having this energy because most people are not balanced out like you. They can't find their balance. You're a fair sign. So therefore, this five of wands energy, somebody feeling competitive or wanting to fight or cause competition when it came to you, those are these three cups energies now who are full of worry and self-doubt as they started off, okay? This energy is about drama. And they were mad because they seen, guess what? She got the potential. He has the potential to get the pinnacles. And I don't like it. They didn't like it. Because they saw in you what it is that they don't have in them. Point blank, period. Tell us more about the Libra and their purpose. Because you're in your purpose. The Eight of Pentacles, many of you are working towards your purpose. You're now understanding your purpose. You understood the assignment. Whoa, this is mm, a lot of cards. A lot of cards. Wow. I got to take the message. I got to take it. Spirit said, take it. Okay, so look. This is how you step into this energy of really finding your purpose of working or being in the goal of just continuing on even after, you know, people got together and manipulated energy to try to bring you some pain. They didn't understand how Peter built you was. They didn't understand that. You got the four of pentacles, okay? That is here in reverse. And the Four of Pentacles in reverse is about financial insecurity, reckless spending, and really probably overspending, all right? And you got the Five of Cups. This Five of Cups is in reverse. I'm going to show them all to you individually, but the Five of Cups is in reverse, and this is about moving on and just having some hope and forgiving and being in the energy of really just, look, I just want to move on with it. Mm -hmm. Because this is also reckless recklessness, this four of pentacles when it comes to your finances, as well as we got a knight of wands. <laughs> so... Let's break it down. You're in this energy of building. All right? You looking like a bag to somebody, Libra. Straight up, okay? You was looking like a bag. And 
Here come this reckless energy that overspends and overindulges in everything and who is reckless in general. Probably tried to front like he had it, but he didn't. Okay? Or she. This energy, they want some forgiveness. They want to move on. And it could be a knight of wands that is in reverse. This knight of wands in reverse, they came in like a hot wheel, huh? Dukes of Hazard style, hitting willies all down your block, trying to come get to you. Mm -hmm. This energy rushed in towards you. They did with a broke ass. Uh-huh. Yeah, five of cups. And they just want to let it all go. They know how reckless they were financially, you know, in every way. When it can they, this to me is I fumbled the bag. They fumbled the bag. That's what they did. Okay. What's the overall energy? Wow. The bag was the empress. Imagine that. Imagine fumbling the empress. Not the empress. Eh? Mm, my, my, my. What a fool. <laughs> Spirit, give me the fool. Yes, please. Mm? It's this one. I feel it. It's this one right here. Bam. <laughs> We're not taking these extra ones. That was way too many that came out, but it was that one. Yeah, a high priestess knows. Yeah, the fool is the high priestess. You took a chance and you stepped into your higher knowing of what it is. You know that you know that you know that you know. You just know. You just know. Some of you seen it in dreams. Some of you mm, mm, mm. Knew who you was all along. And that was the Empress energy. Period. Mm. Yeah. You stepped into your higher knowing. Like you started to trust yourself intuitively, beautiful ones. Beautiful job, Libra. Let me sip some tea to that. Toast. Split the deck. Look, Ten of Swords. This is what went down when it came to you. Okay? You had no choice but to say, wait a minute. It's time to put the empathy card up. Mm-hmm. It's time to stop loving others more. <laughs> and love you more. Mm-hmm. That's the T. Page of Cup Spirit. It's me. Okay. Wow, and these flip too. Page of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so this Page of Cups energy is also an. I'll go back and show you the cards. I'm not sure. I don't think I showed these cards. Let me show them really quick so you guys can connect with the energy the way I do. This is someone recklessly spinning. All right. It's in the reverse. And they get it out the mud. <laughs> but in the reverse, they don't. Uh-huh. Yeah. So five of cups. Mm-hmm. In the reverse. And I showed y'all the Knight of Wands in his Hot Wheel. Riding all down your street tripping. So for this Page of Cups energy, beautiful ones, you got the Seven of Pentacles. This is about what it is you invested in. Okay, what was invested. Possibly an energy wanting to invest in you is what I'm seeing, okay? Yeah. This is someone who's planting seeds as well. You see, these is big bags she got. Big bags. Full of pentacles. So, this person, they have it to invest. They do. 
Remember, time is money. So they got the time and they got the money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. The Ten of Wands is here. This Ten of Wands energy is letting us know that this energy, hmm, they set boundaries. They set boundaries. The Nine of Wands is also close to success. It is not always the wounded hero. You're the wounded hero only because you have fought so hard, so long to come so close to success. So this is an energy. Remember, we're talking about this here, Page of Cups. This is a new love, a fresh love, okay? Who's stacking up their coins, about their bag, investing, making smart investment, money moves, and guess what? They a go-getter. Because this is the Ten of Wands. And this is about you not giving up. Or this energy not giving up. You got the Page of Wands that's here. Page of Wands is someone who is very creative and a free-spirited. They're also a lusty person too, okay? So they might be a little freaking as sheets. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. And they could bring some balance to your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, might be just what the doctor prescribed, Libra. <laughs> yeah, this is the new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles. Let's talk about it. Spirit, tell us more about this Page of Wands. Mm. This Page of Wands energy. Uh, page of Wands. Okay. Wow, yeah. We're going to take both of them. But this is a lover. Uh-huh, this is a choice. Uh-huh, this is a choice. <laughs> yeah, I, I went ahead and I just shuffled because I split the deck and it was Ten of Swords. This page of wands wants a fresh love with you. This is your person from the past. This is a lover, okay? This is a lover. And if you look at this card before... I pick up this one to show you what it is. This lover, this is an angel, an earth angel, okay? Really trying to save someone from biting the apple with a ha, ha, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, so this is a man with another woman with an apple. So this is an interpretation of Adam and Eve. My candle is also an Adam and Eve candle. Okay, you see the snake coming out the tree uh, in the poison bushes mm, with a poison apple. And the angel coming into their lives like, no, don't eat the apple. And they hiding from the angel. Yeah. She's a redhead like the Queen of Wands in reverse too, by the way. Mm-hmm. The Page of Pentacles is here. This is somebody's baby mama. Yeah. Excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles, all right? There's somebody baby mama, okay? Or a mother figure, a maternal figure. Apply to your story as it applies, okay? This is a maternal figure, okay? Who wants a new beginning? Mmm. Woo! They want a new beginning. When it comes to an emperor energy, wow! Let's tell a story. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here, Spirit? Queen of Pentacles for Libra. Too many. For the King of Cups, okay. The Queen of Pentacles is here for a king of cups this is someone who is emotionally intelligent yeah four of wands 
Hmm. Let me do the science. Somebody's happiness, somebody's joys. Yeah. Maybe you somebody, baby mama. <laughs> Let's talk about it. We got a new love, okay? We got a new love. Fresh love, at least an idea of a fresh love, okay? Something new and exciting for you, all right? Somebody feels like they have invested in this energy. They're wanting to invest in this energy, okay? They are a wounded hero, uh-huh, because they don't give up. They want to keep doing what it is they're doing. They had a new idea with this page of wands, okay? It's a new idea that's coming into place. This idea is feeling like a spark of something, all right? When it comes to the lovers, yeah. When it comes to a choice, uh-huh, and somebody's choosing a queen of pentacles. This is a maternal figure. This is a baby mama, all right? possible, right? It, this could be your energy, Libra, and this is what I'm feeling it is because this person is emotional over you. They're a king of cups energy, possible water placements, all right? And over your overall energy, this is four of wands. This is them wanting a union with you. This is them wanting to get back into your energy, uh-huh. Yeah, because you're happy. You're joy to them. Mm. And them leaving everything suspended between you two hangman energy led to a death. Yeah, that's the T. I split the deck. Three of pentacles. Because of who they collaborated with, who it is they chose to build and make plans with. This looks like they're planning a robbery. There's a gun. A little shot glass, a yak, cigarette in front of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, this King of Cups energy plotted and planned it with someone that was against your energy. And this is Three of Pentacles, the same three energies that we have right here with the Three of Cups. So this is someone understanding you're where the happiness is, you're where the joy is. And they're in their feelings about it, about it, okay? Now, emotional intelligence can be looked at as many ways, okay? In many ways. Now, just because someone doesn't show any emotions does not mean that they are intelligent. They're just smart enough not to show you how long they cry at night. Uh-huh. But you're a high priestess. They don't have to show you. You already know. Spirit, give me the six of swords. Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Mm, and it turned around on purpose. Knight of swords, okay? Mm. So... This six of swords, this is moving forward. And it's on top of the chariot, which is more forward movement. But the six of swords, excuse me, this knight of swords, it's in the reverse. So a knight of swords in reverse is nothing but chaos. Pushy, aggressive. Uh-huh. So this is about someone aggressively moving forward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Due to a lot of chaos that they're involved in. It's a lot of chaos happening in this energy. The moon. Give us the moon. For Libra. Give us the moon. Thank you. Uh, yeah, these different illusions. These Houdini moves when it came to... The Ace of Cups, a new love, a fresh love, a love, a gifted love from the Most High. So it, it was secrets and a bunch of lies and illusions being told and given and fed. Let me show y'all this card up close. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was when it came to that Ace of Love, that Ace of Cups. Mm hmm. Ace of Cups energy is 
new feelings, love, compassion, spirituality. See, someone didn't know what to do with all this. They didn't know what to do with the Ace of Cups. Nah, they didn't know what to do. Because it felt like a love from the past. It was a nostalgic love. Ace of Cups with the Six of Cups overall energy. It was a love from the past. It was nostalgic. It reminded them of something sweet and pure, innocent. Your person probably saw you was really innocent. Uh-huh. May even thought you were naive. Not understanding that you just rest in peace. <laughs> and you don't have to wait to die to do it. How about that? So this Seven of Cups that's here. They didn't know what to do with the big Ace of Cups. So they fed illusions. They fed a bunch of lies. Let's tap back into this aggressive, this chaos that they're going through. So this person is being forced to move forward. Because it's it's it feels like they were made to move. Not a sword spirit, Libra. Thank you. Yeah. This is A to Wands says here. This is more movement. This is more movement. This person has to activate. They shock. They throw chakras when I'm hearing, okay? Because this is about getting a message to someone. It's also considered as the arrows of love. You'll hear, hear me use that terminology, you know, because it's a olden day terminology. But it was when you, we call it shooting somebody a kite, okay? Or just shooting a message to someone. But this... Eight of Wands is about quick changes, new movement. So, like I said, that aggressiveness, that assertiveness when it comes to this Knight of Swords, the Chariot with the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Swords, this is fast movement, quick. Like, yeah, it, it wasn't no time to even think about nothing else. Uh-huh, yeah. Ace of Cups. This person wants, they felt like they had to make some quick movement. This is current energy. This isn't the stagnancy that we saw before. This is quick changes happening fast. And now somebody is thinking about that Ace of Cups energy. You only get it once in a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Spirit, give me the strength. Yeah. Because this strength with this Queen of Wands in reverse and this wand that she had this great idea to be strong about that left her, where did it leave her? <laughs> Stuck on stupid. Six of Swords in reverse. Spirit, give me the strength with the Queen of Wands in reverse. What was the strength there for, Spirit? Mm. For love from the past. Uh-huh. So this Queen of Wands in reverse could have been dealing with your person, knew your person for a long time, could have been with them since they were kids all right or something like that right overall energy is the magician i knew it <laughs> yeah <laughs> straight up that's what this big wand is for so let's talk about it beautiful ones all right because we're running it mm -hmm. you got a queen of wands that's in reverse i already told you what she is and who it is she is and what she does what she does what she do she's stuck Okay? And she's stuck because of the bright idea she had with the wine. Uh-huh. This is about a creative idea, a master plan is what she thought she would put together. Uh-huh. A strong one. Strength card. Possible Leo placements in their chart. When it involves somebody from the past. 
Mm -hmm. And the overall energy is the magician. Someone wanting to play magic in your life. Magic in their person's life. But this energy felt because they had a connection. They could have children with this person. Okay? Your person. They felt because they had this connection that they actually had the ability to play somebody's magician in their life. Mm -hmm. This person, this is not the first time that they played this role. So really it was just them doing what it is that they do. The magician is about your resources, pulling together all your resources. And I already told you what time it is with the Queen of Wands in reverse, so we know what the resources are. Nothing but drama when I split the deck. Chaos, fighting, arguing. So this is somebody who is used, like I said, to operating in this energy. This comes from their childhood. Yeah, it does. Let's talk about it some more. Give us the Six of Cups. What did the Queen of Wands do re in regards to the Six of Cups, Spirit? For Libra, what did they do? What's going on in that energy? Tell us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like I said, this energy probably has kids with them. This is family. This is the Ten of Cups, okay? What she did, she claimed she did it for the family. Uh-huh. Ten of Cups. And... <laughs> wow. So, look. The Ten of Cups energy. This is about fulfillment, domestic harmony, and security. Okay? Security. Uh-huh. With the King of Pentacles. This is somebody's baby daddy. Uh-huh. Yeah. And see, we got the Queen of Pentacles out here, but somebody baby daddy in reverse, okay? So this ain't a match for this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is up in an in a upright, a fresh love, okay? From someone who really has true emotions about them, King of Cups. But we got somebody that's just worried about security, no matter how incomplete, hurt they are when it comes to the energy of this person. They just wanted this to be kept. That's what I'm hearing. They just wanted to be kept. They wanted a connection to pinnacles that they didn't have to work for because they feel they knew this person. Okay? And they probably did build a family with this person or is in the family with this person. But this King of Pentacles, no, they're in reverse. Mm -mm. They're not the Mac Daddy they used to be once upon a time, I suppose. Okay. I wasn't there. But at one point in time, their Pentacles were up and now they're down. And the King of Pentacles in reverse is someone who is just full of ego and they neglect people. They're very wasteful and they still want to dominate. So this is that energy for the Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who watches you. Who watches you. Overall energy. Page of Swords. Mm-hmm. Her and her baby daddy watches you. Because you over here being a whole nine of pentacles energy. They watching that single woman. That single woman who is independent in the upright. While both of these energies are single and separate. Mm -hmm. And I don't care if they in the same house. Somebody's a hermit in there. Split the deck on hermit. Somebody in there going in. Okay. <laughs> Sleeping in different rooms, all the nine, okay? The whole nine. But Spirit is telling me this energy has quick changes happen. Tell us more about the quick changes. Eight of Wands for Libra. Quick changes. Thank you. Mm, quick changes when it comes to watching you. 
Somebody's been watching you, spying on you. But let's let's look a little deeper, okay? Because this all this card, Page of Swords will come out at different times. But this is someone who was very enthusiastic, but at the same time, they have prying eyes. And they also can see the truth. While they're watching you, they are watching you in your truth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this person is watching and seeing the truth. And it caused some quick change to happen in the energy when it came to a nine of pentacles, a single energy. And they found out the truth about the magician. This is what they found out. Yeah. They found out the truth about the magician that's connected to this energy. And if you ask me, these two both were magicians. Okay. Let me split this deck. Yeah. And they're having to retreat from this type of energy, going to rest. And um, yeah, they, they was laid down. They was laid down. Somebody can possibly be ill uh -huh, or recovering from an illness with this four of swords. Tell us more, Page of Swords for Libra. Thank you. Wow, it's the King of Wands. The King of Wands is watching you. Fire sign, Sagittarius, okay? Could have a Sagittarius placement or just have that fiery energy. Uh-huh. Of being very passionate and trying to go for what is theirs, right? Or going after it. And they don't care if they leave the house on fire. Uh-huh. Something tells me when they left, they left the house on fire. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It was ordained to happen like that. The higher fit is the overall energy. Uh-huh. The most high said, mm -hmm. okay. Let me show you how it's done. I'm going to make you go in. And you're going to have to run out. Yeah, hermit, higher fit. <laughs> this person has had to go in and have a little talk. Look, they, they have to go in and have a little talk with themselves because uh, they, they was forced, they was laid down to do so. When it came to this four of wands, happiness, joy, 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 a union with the empress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it is. Overall energy. Hmm. So beautiful, Empress, you're in this high priestess energy. You took taking chances on yourself. Let's talk about it. Let's, uh, this is current events, okay? You just in your knowing right now. You know what it is you know. You know all you need to know. <laughs> you split the deck. You're in your nine of pentacles. Some of you are still single, doing your thing. Just really career oriented and focused on what it is. Building up your own luxuries. Doing it your way. The high priestess spirit. The high priestess. For Libra. <laughs> oh, and we're going to go ahead and sip some tea and close out on this one. Guess what, beautiful ones? The high priestess. The Most High said, you get a new beginning. You get a new beginning with abundance attached to it. Because you cannot touch my anointed chosen ones. You get a new beginning in abundance, a new fresh start. Mm, the Hierophant with the Ace of Pentacles. That's the most high saying. Here. You learned your lesson, right? Know what to do with this new love that I'm about to bless you with. Uh-huh. The balance. The balance that it takes to be who you are. You know it had to be balanced out. Everything was balanced out. Everything is being balanced out. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> You're going to get your reciprocity. Six of pentacles, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
This would be a very good year for you, Libra. Year of the dragon. Your finances are going to change this year. Mm. I spit the deck. There is an ace of swords, okay? Ace of swords in reverse. Now, if y'all recall, the whole time I've been shuffling, the judgment was in the reverse, okay? So, Ace of Swords in Reverse is about confusion and also destruction and some obstacles. But it's being followed with the judgment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, judgment is here. And it may have been some confusion when it came to that judgment, like, you know, what's going to take place. This is your energy. My Libras may even have wanted to see some judgment happen, but I'm letting you know it did. Mm-hmm. And you may be confused on if it did or didn't. It did. This card has been in reverse the whole time I've been shuffling, but it ain't now. And it's judgment when it comes to you closing out a cycle. Uh-huh. The world is here. You closing out a cycle with a king of swords in reverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who is in this five of pentacles energy now? And that's left out in the cold financially burdened. They have possibly left their children and a wife or a mother figure and turned their back on them. As you can see, he's in the corridor in the background with his back turned. Yeah. And this is the three of pentacles that they planned and plotted and schemed with. Knight of Cups, energy in reverse. They don't care nothing about these individuals. Nothing at all about them. So what we see here, beautiful ones, is, you know, people who came together to come against you who are no longer together anymore. Uh-huh. And you looking pretty, <laughs> pretty good out here. You looking like everything it is that you work for. You looking like you learned the lessons. You looking like you are moving on. It looks like you looking like you looking, okay? And it's a beautiful thing to see this energy the way it is. And, you know, really, I'm going to be honest. Karma getting served. Uh-huh, justice. They tell you, oh, you know, you shouldn't. You know, I mean, I'm not sitting around waiting on nobody to get their karma. However, I know it's coming. Uh-huh. And when it does, cheers to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they work for it. And we see karma, even though we didn't get... Spirit, give me a card for the... King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. Libra. Thank you. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. The devil. It's not a game. You want to play? And that's the truth. Libra, you walking away with your sunshine. And they got to stay where they play. And that's what the devil... Mm. This is another edition of Tea Talk and Tarot with Empress 444. Thank you for coming to the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.